بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شلونكم طلابنا المرحلة الرابعة اليوم نحافظ على ال descriptive studies regarding person place and time these are three groups of variables commonly used in descriptive epidemiology first the person characteristic describing person affected by the age the sex marital status education occupation, habits, genetics, and ethnic group, and maybe other characteristics. The characteristic describing a place where the person were found affected, the distribution of disease may be international, national, limited to one country, or continental, or local, only one part of the country is affected, maybe rural or urban pattern. And characteristic describing the time, in which person were found affected, we have to ask, is it follow which type of these trends? Is it secular over years or even decades, or it is seasonal within the same year, or maybe recurrent pattern, or after special events like raining or exposure to sun, like sun rays? Variables related to person, place, and time are not necessarily have causal association with the disease being examined. They simply use in description. An association of particular disease with a given place might be due to the type of people inhabiting that place. For example, sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease occur in Mediterranean countries. It's regarded it's related to the type of people inhabiting or live in that place in Mediterranean area. And it is related to person. But sometimes Association of disease with characteristic of person might be due to environmental factor, like schistosomiasis, after and those who lived near the rivers, or sometimes asthma, like in dampy or uh, dusty weather, lived in these weathers, or maybe occupational disease like uh, mesothelioma, which occur after working in a field with asbestos, contaminated with asbestos. So the descriptive association are helpful in hypothesis formulation. What's hypothesis? A proposed explanation of a relationship that has been accepted or refuted and tested by further research. So we have to put a hypothesis, which is proposed explanation. Propose explanation for something, for a relationship between the disease and the environmental factor, the, uh, the characteristic of the person or the place, and so on, which may be accepted or not. And this need to be treated and tested by other research. So testing the hypothesis need other method, we call the analytic method. This is the epidemiological study cycle. We have the descriptive study here, started with the data aggregation and analysis. Collect data from different sources, as we mentioned, and we then analyze this data. And we have to build the model of a study, cross-sectional, um, or maybe it is longitudinal, and so on. And formulation of the hypo uh, hypothesis, we have to put it in um, an ideal way. And then analytic study to test hypothesis. And lastly, analysis of the result and further studies. Example of on descriptive epidemiology. Distribution of disease with age. This is very variable. And actually, age is an important confounding variable and must be considered and controlled. The variation of disease distribution with age may be explained as follows first of all accuracy of diagnosis what do you mean by that elderly and young age group people they cannot explain their signs and symptoms and the disease is less likely to be ascertained in this age group this leads to underestimation of certain causes of death in a very young and in very elderly people in some instances basic population data are lacking on such extreme age group because they cannot explain their signs and symptoms. Two, there is variation in intensity and the duration of exposure to risk factor. 
and the three variation in immunity and susceptibility and the type of epidemiological parameter used whether incidence, prevalence, estimation, or mortality. For example, in a disease with constant instance, incidence with age and negligible mortality, there is constant incidence, negligible, negligible mortality, and incomplete recovery. The age specific prevalence increases with age because cases once developed tend to accumulate because there is negligible mortality and at the same time there is incomplete recovery so over time increasing the prevalence rate this is an example of effect and we have the biomodality in some instances distribution of diseases frequency with age may have more than one peak so it is bimodal as in cases of incidence of lymphoma and tuberculosis, this bimodality may suggest the heterogeneity of data and possibility that we are dealing with two diseases entity and disease entities rather than one. For example, in TB, the first peak in the incidence rate of TB in young children is definitely is primary, so it is exogenous tuberculosis. On the other hand, the peak rate in life is mainly in late life or late in life secondary, it is endogenous. So early peak it is endogenous, exogenous and late is endogenous. Aging or biological clock. Sometimes people become very aging and lost the ability to carry out even simple tasks, yet they have no apparent disease. They are extremely fatigued, extremely ill, extremely tired, they can't do any task, but apparently there is no disease. So aging is one of the missed problems. B, there is a solution of disease with marital status. In many studies, it was reported that death rate and suicidal rate are higher among non-married people, single, widows, or divorced, than they are in married people. This is true for both male and female. Such variation might be difficult to explain, but two explanations are possible. So why it is more common, the problems or diseases or suicidal attempts, death rate is higher among non-marital patients because they, think, they thought that marriage stabilized life and reduced the risk of exposure to hazardous behavior. And married people may feel more responsible, not only for their lives, but for the care and love of their spouses and children. They may avoid certain risky behaviors and some recent study contradict this hypothesis. People who are unmarried are actually not healthy to start with and they prefer not to marry. The high risk of death and suicide among them is related to their poor health to start with rather than with a marital status being unmarried. See interpretation of association of disease distribution with place. The following criteria are essential to demonstrate an association of disease distribution with a place. The high frequency rate of disease are observed in all ethnic groups living in that place. And similar people who inhabit other places do not show high frequency rate of their disease. Healthy people entering the place become affected by the disease at the rate similar to that of the indigenous population. People who leave the place and move to other places do not experience high frequency rate of the disease, and the species other than man may show similar pattern of disease. When these criteria are fulfilled, it is possible to imply that either the inhabitant of that particular place poses characteristic of importance to the etiology of the disease or that physical, chemical, biological, social environment of that place contain etiological factors of the disease. More intensive research is required to identify such factors. Interpretation of disease variation with time secular changes. Distribution of disease with time may follow long-term changes. The changes occur over years or decades. The rise indicate real increase due to massive exposure 
to disease agent or change in lifestyle of the people or failure of adaptation to social changes or it is artifact it is not real due to improved diagnosis of disease or improved recording cases or change in classification or maybe aging of population so change in population at risk seasonal changes a change of disease frequency within the year reflect change in population immunity and change in environmental situation in favor of disease agent developed or multiplication and it is transmission to a new host introduction of additional causal factor and combination of these factors thank you very much